my channel. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you three DIY notebooks and binders that are inspired by YouTubers. These DIYs are great because you can use them to decorate your binders or your notebooks. And to make it a little bit different than normal DIY videos, I thought I would pull inspiration from other YouTubers. From their Instagram feed to the decor they have in their homes, I'm going to show you where I got inspiration from and how I made that into a notebook. So with that being said, let's get started with these YouTube inspired DIYs. The first YouTuber I was inspired by is Alicia Marie. I love Alicia, she's one of my favorite YouTubers. When scrolling through Alicia's Instagram feed, you'll find plenty of light pink pastel walls. So I knew I had to do something with light pink. Next I decided to pull inspiration from one of her old channel banners. It had green palm leaves on it and it said Alicia Marie. So with light pink and green palm leaves being the inspiration, let's just get started. First I started out by grabbing some cardstock paper and measuring it and cutting it to fit the size of my binder. Next I took this print of palm leaves and glued it to the top half of the cardstock. I literally just grabbed a picture of palm leaves off of Google Images and took it to my local Walmart to get it printed. It was only a couple bucks and it looked so good. Next I put down a page of pink scrapbook paper about a quarter of the way down from the top. Then I made a diagonal line from the top left corner of the pink paper to the bottom right corner of the palm leaf print. Then I also made two lines on the side and on the bottom so I knew where to cut to make it the size of the binder. Then simply cut along the lines to make something shorter like this. Next grab some glue and glue down the pink paper. If you want this to work as an actual pocket, make sure you only glue the top two corners rather than the whole top edge. This way you can still slide things into the pocket. Then I went ahead and trimmed the white excess. Next I spelled out my class subject using some white stickers. Then all you gotta do is slip it into the front of your binder and then you have a super cute Alicia Marie inspired binder. The next YouTuber I was inspired by is Laura DIY. I feel like you can't make a DIY video and not be inspired by Lauren. She's known as the DIY queen here on YouTube so she had to be included in this video. In a lot of her videos, Lauren uses watercolors to make beautiful designs. So I thought I would give it a shot in this video. Also, in her channel banner, there's a little bit of orangish reddish watercolor in the corner, so those are the colors that I'm going to be using. So with the Lore DIY watercolor vibes in mind, let's get started. First I started out by grabbing some cardstock paper and measuring it and cutting it to fit the size of my binder. Then I took my watercolors and began to make a gradient from red to orange to yellow. After finishing the original gradient, I went back over the colors with plain water to blend the colors together and to blur out the edges. Next, I wrote my class subject in cursive using a sharpie. Next, all that's left to do is slide it into the front of your binder and then you have a super cute Lar DIY inspired binder. The last YouTuber I was inspired by was Miss Remy Ashton. The inspiration that I picked up from Remy was actually from her bedroom. In her room tour, she shows her entire bedroom, but my favorite part is her bed. She has these big fluffy throw pillows in the colors blue, pink, and gray. And above her bed, she made a DIY wall art that matches her pillows. And her DIY seriously turned out so cute. The colors that she chose complement each other so well, so that's what I took inspiration from for this video. First, I started out by grabbing some cardstock paper and measuring it and cutting it to fit the size of my binder. Next, I took some thin washi tape and sectioned off the bottom right corner. Aside from the bottom right corner, I used the washi tape to create geometric triangle shapes on the rest of the page. Then I began filling in the triangles with blue, pink, and gray paint. Once the triangles were all painted and dried, I peeled off the washi tape to reveal the clean white lines, which was super satisfying by the way. Then I wrote my class subject using a black sharpie and then filled it in with a gray sharpie. Then of course all there's left to do is slip it into the front of the binder and then you have a binder inspired by Miss Remy Ashton. And of course if you want to make any of these designs into a notebook all you have to do is cut it down the size and then glue it onto the cover. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys next week.